Hello everyone. We are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews again. Well, today. And uh, I'm gonna, this is a, uh, gonna be a review of me using uh, the Ryobi uh, cutter, PVC cutter that I got. Blade is worn down. I haven't changed it out yet. Uh, so it's, this is still the original blade and I probably did maybe 200 cuts with it. I'm probably somewhere around there. Um, so this probably has like 200 cuts. So it's not the sharpest blade, but it's still better than cutting it with a handsaw and then trying to deburr this because, uh, you know, if this was plumbing, like I said, I really don't care about the water because I can just snake it and I have a snake, so it's just easy. But with central vacuum, you do not want it to get clogged up with stuff. It's not going to be easy to snake out central vacuum like it is when you have, you know, w running water while you're snaking it. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's going to be a little bit uh, harder. So you do not want that to clog. So you're not going to want burrs or anything like that. So you're going to want to prevent that as much as possible and not have to do anything. So this, uh, you know, tool helps, uh, you know, not having to use a deburring tool or anything like that. S really quick cut. It's awesome. Uh, like I said, if it was a fresh blade, it'd probably be even better. But like I said, this blade is probably more than 50% done. Uh, so I, I kind of just put it on here, but let me show you how I'm cutting the central vacuum because central vacuum piping is like schedule 20. It's very thin walled piping compared to uh, schedule 40 or even 80, obviously, but schedule 40 is just a lot easier to cut uh, with this kind of machine. Um, this machine does not work on anything less than schedule 40 for, you know, because it just squeezes it or it just like messes it up. Maybe it'll work with a brand new blade, but it just wasn't working for me. So let me show you what I'm doing. I mean, uh, if you're going to make your cut, I'm going to make my cut before the tape, um, right at, right at this tape line. So this way I can, you know, I, I can, don't have to remove the tape cause I'm lazy. Uh, so, I mean, you would just see your measurement. Mine's like three and a half. So mine pretty much, you know, I'm going to make my cut right there. So this is kind of what I do to make it easy. I have a two inch uh, schedule 40 PVC and it slides in here really easily. Okay, so I'm gonna place it like that. See, I got my uh, Ryobi um, thing. Hit the button right there. Bam, opens up, all right. So that's how it kind of opens up. You can cut up, I think, two inches on here and there's a little lock on the bottom that you pull and this way it just goes down. Bam, and it cuts and then you can also, you know, go up. All right, so that's it, pretty simple. So here's what I've been doing to make the quick cuts to make this efficient and easy because you don't want to be, wait. this is, you know, such a waste of time. You don't want to be doing that. So look what I do. I kind of put them on both sides just like that. Now, when you're using this tool, um, you are going to want to make sure, you know, you use it properly because I noticed that if you don't hold the pipe down properly, you won't get a nice fresh cut. Uh, no matter what pipe you're cutting, it doesn't even matter. Uh, so watch this. This goes really nice and simple. So sandwich it just like that. And then I'll hold this side just because I'm lazy. And then uh, that's it. Fold it down, squeeze the trigger, and done. Bam, see? Very easy, very nice cut. Uh, you know, see, look, now I don't got to deburr it. Yeah, you have a little, like, dimple, but that dimple is going to be hidden when you put it inside the fitting anyway. So it doesn't even, like, you're, this is not going to matter, this dimple that it's making on the outside because the vacuum runs on the inside. So that's kind of what I'm doing. That's a nice little tip, uh, trick that I learned that's really cool if you have any kind of piping that you're cutting, you know, just wrap it with this uh, so it doesn't deform itself under pressure. And this way you could just use the... Uh, you know, that's a cut. All right. So that's it for Glenn Velvet reviews on, you know, a review of using the Ryobi cutter uh, that I got with this very small battery um, and, uh, you know, cutting it, you know, 50% through of the blade and cutting central vacuum, um, you know, tubing. All right. Uh, if any have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures. I try to put up stuff to help out the community just like I get help from the community. All right, everybody enjoy. Be safe. I'm out. Bye-bye.